for the first time that we are bringing to you Obodoku Road dualization in Onicha. Obodoku Road connects Onichawere Road and uh, the industrial area of uh, Obaru, which is uh, along Atani Road. So we are going to give you the details of uh, this Obodoku and what is going on there you know right now as i'm you know uploading this video then uh, we are not going to end there at obodoku we are going to show you part of uh, onicha Owere road that uh, you know has been bad for a very long time now but there are some repair work uh, that is going on there you know we are going to show you exactly what is happening on uh, onicha Owere road access so sit back and enjoy the video and get all the full informations and details that you need to get in this video and don't forget to like and share this video so that others can watch and be on the same page with the events then right here we are commencing our movement to obodoku road and here is the enugu expressway you know, um, uh, some people might uh, not remember the exact location of uh, Obodoku, you know, uh, and uh, we need to give you the proper direction of where we are going. Some might still remember and uh, some don't know the location of uh, Obodoku. Probably they are hearing of uh, Obodoku Road in Onicha so today we are going to give you the actual direction to Ubuduku, so you don't mistake it with uh, another road in onicha so this is the service lane part of uh, enugu onicha expressway you can even see the service lane is very wide enough yes uh, i'm always proud of it it was done by uh, his excellency uh, Gregory Pito B is the one that uh, constructed this road and it has remained like this since this road was constructed. Just some very few parts that used to get bad like this uh, at Tani Road Junction. Other places has been like that, you know, without any potholes. So right here now, if you want, you can take right and assess Obuduku by the left. So, but uh, we are not using this one. We want to move down to Opiweka. Opiweka from then, uh, on each other road, we are going to assess it from there. So we can have a very clear definition and uh, movement into Obuduku road. Yes, this is Yanga Life channel and if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscription button, the notification bell, like this video, share this video so that others can watch and uh, let's hear the comments other people have to drop is when you share this video, people can drop their comments and bring in their contribution towards what we are discussing. Thank you. Yes, uh, you can see this drainage, this gutter, it has been like that, very, very messed, you know, dead, sand, grasses everywhere inside that gutter. I don't know why it's difficult to clear gutters and drainage. What is really our problems? Hmm? In, a, in a densely populated area like Onicha, that we cannot know what to do about cleaning the environment that is an issue because it seems that uh, nothing is being done towards that to get it right well uh, we'll keep talking i don't think we will get tired of talking until something is done towards that Yes, by the right side is a ball plastic. Any type of plastic is here. This is plastic market. Chairs, plastics, any sort of plastic containers, 
you can find them here it's quite a very large market you know uh, and uh, a lot of money is there in that market as you can see so keep watching the middle of the cutters you can see grasses overgrown this is quite unfortunate well this place now is the tomato market and the market is very free from uh, traders once again this is not the first time the government have stopped this market you can see there is no market activities going on here and this place is very free from all those uh, incessant holdups is a wonderful development but there is another thing to it government chased them out of here and these people just moved an inch and started doing their business somewhere there at Oboko Junction. Government chased them out of there and they just nearby. They went to nearby and started doing their business once again. Though some part of the people have been relocated to another place where they sell tomato, but that side they are complaining so much that even during rainy season they cannot enter there that place is swamp but this dry season they can manage to be there but rainy season nowhere this is not the first time the government is stopping trading at this uh, market because it's not an official market so this is where they are now occupying the worst part of the road you see um governance is not just how do I put it? You don't just do things that you feel that you have the power to do. You try to put the people into consideration. This is what I'm saying. There should be an alternative market where these people can be relocated. The ones I heard they relocated was the tomato people. You know, this market has a lot of... Um, people here this one is for food items perishable in fact it's perishables that they say here so now they've come to occupy the road and i'm not sure if there is any alternative market that was provided for them if there is then government should come and enforce them force them to leave this place to go to that market if there is so from the look of things i don't think there is an alternative place well, that is not uh, being considered enough, even though the government has, you know, a very good intention of uh, making that place free from traffic, you know, um, movement. But let it not be that uh, small time now you see them back there doing their business. And uh, if that happens, it means that uh, some things have uh, exchanged hands. That's what it means. But that is not the issue. The issue is that uh, government chased them out of a safe place and they now came out and be staying at the middle of the road to trade and nothing happens and government did not come to chase them. Just imagine that situation and what is going on. I don't really understand what is going on there. Okay? So, but um, that is just by the way we are going to Ubudubu and this place right now is the, the bypass into Onichoweri Road coming from Onicha Enugu Expressway. And by the right side there is relief markets or the right side is relief market joined to Obodoku. so um, the relief market stretches from uh, Onichawe Road and down to Obodoku axis this is Opiweka 
down flyover now gentlemen this is uh obodoku junction you can see it came out at uh, on the chongore road this is zenith bank by the side if you know this place it used to be very bad potholes and the rest of them but now it has been filled up so this is now obodoku road back of relief market relief market is by the right and then uh, this is the Opoduku road we are talking about. So, but um, I want you to have the full view of Opoduku road so you can be able to, you know, know the exact thing that is happening on this Opoduku road. So this is Obuduku Road. The length of this road should be about um, should be about uh, two kilometers there about. So that is the length of this road. So, but let's keep moving down. We'll see what is going on on the road. By the right side is customs, that is where they have their quarters, custom quarters. By the right there, this uh, grey color fence. Then if you take this right, you are coming out at uh, uh, Onecha Enugu Expressway by the service lane side. That's where you are going to come out if you take that right. Yes, uh, this is down. They call this place in the well. That's what they call it. I don't know. This road is not uh, wide enough, so I don't know how the dualization is going to work out. Actually, I don't know because the road is not wide. Except if uh, the government will consider getting this right side you know this uh, part of the right and relocate the electric poles so that it will get a bit bigger but here uh, i don't know if the dualization will reach here so but let's uh, wait and see what happens and let's reach at that uh, point where they are working now so now um, this is uh, the actual place that they are working you can see how they have demarcated it into two well um i want to believe that like this side that has umbrellas they have to bring in those places into part of the road if they want to make this place to be reasonable see this part by the right they are going to break them off and bring them inside the road that should be the best option because if they don't do that and uh, maybe uh, one big truck you know trailers used to make use of this road a lot 
because they do loading and offloading along this axis. So if one trailer stops, got broken down by this, you know, one lane of this road, it means that no vehicle can pass by the side again. So these are the things that uh, we must consider why dualizing road there should be space for two three vehicles to be able to pass at least two at worst case scenario at least two vehicles can pass side by side Like uh, all these axes now don't have much problem. Government can get you know some part of the little uh, fence to get you know the road, the width of the road to expand a bit. And they uh, you know that by the left side is the big drainage. The big drainage is the very large one that can contain trailer self. If trailer enter there, you will not see it. So, um, I don't know. So, but let's see how it goes. But it's quite a good idea to dualize this road to make the two opposite traffic move in separate direction. You know, because of the industrial nature of this place is very very important to get it dualized and government has to do this thing once and for all even if it means getting some little part of the side of the road like i said let them go the extra mile and do this thing once Yes, very soon we will be at the end of uh, the other side, which is Atani Road. Yes, this is Atani Road where it posted at Atani Road. From there is the industrial nature of uh, the industrial area of Onicha, that is Obaru. All these axes, even some part of this Obuduku, by this left side, they are all industrial area. So right now we are having our reverse view of um, the Obuduku so that we can get the few things we were unable to get while we are coming and it will have a different view altogether. So that is the importance of having the reverse view of uh, places visited.
Well, um, you have seen the dollarization they are talking about. To me, I don't see much serious thing that is going on here for now. I don't see much thing going on. Just some very few people that are on site trying to cast this middle of the road. And uh, if not for, you know, uh, Bubu, the middle of the road is not the first thing that should be done. The first thing that should be done is to get the actual width of this road, you know, by making sure that all these sides, you know, that you are sure that the area you are going to use for this road, when you are done with that, then you can start with uh, actual demarcation. But however, um, the demarcation is part of the road and uh, it's not going to be done twice. So it doesn't matter whether it's done first or done last. But there are some things you will see, then you know actually what is uh, the person doing this job is thinking and what is his plans. So just like I said, actually by this side, this left side, you are supposed to get it ready. Let the width of the road be clear. You no, know, before this uh, demarcation, but there is no issue with that. Just like I said, and this is the end that well, this road now leads to Boko. Yes, that reminds me. You know, one of these days we are going to try as much as possible to visit inside of Boko. To see the updates of Boko, what is going on there as regards to urbanization. Thank you. Well, we are yet to get it right in terms of a refuse disposal.
so now shortly we are going to be back at uh, Onichowere Road and for some time Onichowere Road has been under some patchwork I believe that patchwork is being done by FEMA but we are yet to be sure of uh, who is doing the patchwork but usually um, uh, if it's the uh, state government uh, we would have seen the uh, solution signboard somewhere but it's not there so we are thinking that is the FEMA that belongs to the federal government that is doing this patchwork Yes, we are still moving down towards uh, Owere Road. We are going to have the full view of this Owere Road, and you can see some stone bays are, you know, arriving the site to finish up the areas that are yet to be, you know, patched. Then uh, this has been a very bad place when it comes to this uh, over the road. Like I said, once this flood channel is not cutting right, there is nothing reasonable going on here. And that's why I said the state government is supposed to have handled this road by themselves. I don't know why some of these things uh, we try to shy away from it. 
the state government understands this terrain, this Awada exists because the flood that spoils this road is coming from Awada. That's uphill by the left. That's where the flood is coming out from. So the state government is supposed to, you know, walk this road because they are experienced in this area. This area belongs to the state, despite that it's a federal road. Then after they will be reimbursed by the federal government. And earlier on, I've been saying this thing: a state can use beggar, beggar ROCC, all these top-notch uh, contractors. They are the ones that can get the solution to this place, and not all these things that they are doing now. If any local can contractor handles this place, the problem will still repeat itself because it needs proper channeling of water. Yes, uh, gentlemen, we are going to have our reverse view to see the other lane, what is going on here at Oweri Road. Because uh, the other side, when we were coming, we saw some uh, earth moving machine doing something there. I guess that they are clearing the sand along the road so that they can see the face of the road and know what they are doing there. But until we get close, then uh, we'll be sure of uh, what is going on there. Yes, uh, we can see that um, more of uh, stone bays are arriving at the site. We are bringing in more stone bays, probably to complete uh, this axis that they've been working on since last year. Um, like I said, you can see they are clearing the topsoils, you know, the sand that have accumulated on the third road. That's what they are removing there. From there, they will see the actual face of the road. See this one, he just uh, hanged comfortably at the back of uh, KK. <laughs> well, 
probably they are used to this kind of a thing but this is quite dangerous Viewers, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, like this video, and don't forget to share this video. Share this video. We must tell you to share this video so that we can get more reactions and more comments from the general public. Let's see what they are thinking about what is going on and don't say that uh, it is not part of your business if you are residing in anambra state whether you are from anambra or not and you are from anambra state residing in california china europe anywhere we all need your comment and contribution towards what is going on in anambra state and if you are from any part of uh, southeast don't say that uh, you are not from Anambra. Your contribution is still important. Because if we allow it to happen in Anambra, very soon it will start happening in other states. Thank you as you do that.